There are 25 million teenagers in the US, and even more in the entire world. So why do our medias and our societies hate us so much? The New Yorker has labeled my generation the terrible teens, and still other media outlets write about how we are the worst teenagers ever. Journalists spend an extraordinary amount of time trying, obsessing over how much damage we cause, and still more attempting to understand us without ever actually reaching out to us. But we do amazing things. In 2014, a 19-year-old college student, Kevin Stonewall, made significant advancements in the search for a cure for cancer, even going so far as creating a vaccine for colon cancer, because in his own words, Cancer has taken over a whole bunch of lives, and I felt like I needed to step up and do something about it. Laura Decker sailed around the world on her own at the age of 14 over the span of two years. In 2009, Jordan Romero became the youngest person to climb Mount Everest at the age of 13, and then two years later became the youngest person to climb all of the seven summits, which is the tallest mountain on every continent. And yet we are jokes to our superiors. I cannot even count the number of times I have heard an adult whom I deeply respected or knew as an authority figure make a joke of my own or another teenager's expense. Even as I was writing this speech, I overheard an adult make a comment about how teenagers consider themselves to be the center of the universe, and every adult in the room laughed. But when we do not laugh, we are belittled and told that we are oversensitive for being hurt. And the jokes always seem to list our many, many flaws. They reference our laziness, our narcissism, our lashing out, and reduce our cries to be known and reduce them to simple white ones. These are, of course, not the actions of every adult. But to see that even the adults that love us do not attempt to shut down the jokes or add their voices to the ones saying we are oversensitive if we are hurt is a slap in the face of the cold reality of their willingness to put their entertainment over our feelings. Teenage years are some of the hardest we go through. Our bodies are changing and with them our minds. We are awakened from our childhood innocence and left to deal with things we never before thought possible with our chemically imbalanced brains. In 2015, an estimated three million teenagers had at least one major depressive episode. The National Institute of Mental Health has found that 25% of teenagers, aged 13 to 18, will develop or experience anxiety at some point. What causes these awful mental issues? Well, it certainly is a number of reasons, and dependent on one thing would be an injustice, but consider this. Perhaps we're falling apart because our cries to be known are landing on deaf ears. <coughs> Adults do not hear our cries to be nurtured as they work to make the transition from childhood to adulthood as short as possible, so we don't have to be dealt with so much. And it's literally killing us. In 2015 alone, 19 of every 100,000 teenagers committed suicide. That, to do that math for you, that's more than 4,000 teenagers. That's like if every teenager in the Norman, that's like if every high schooler, sorry, if every high schooler in the Norman public school system committed suicide. I know, it seems harsh, but it's a reality we have to face. Teenagers are taking their own lives at an alarming rate, so obviously something has to be wrong with the way we are being treated, the way we are stigmatized. Even the media refuses to represent us. In movies and TV shows, children characters are played by children actors, adults are played by adults, and teenagers are played by more adults. Our body changes during these years are apparently too ugly of a reality to display on a big screen, and by result, we spend our years watching television wondering why we don't look like that, and what is wrong with us. The only time they do show our body changes is whenever it's some sort of inconvenient joke to the main character, or the character is intended to be ugly. In Glee, a TV show about high schoolers, the cast is made up of adults in their late 20s all the way through their early 30s. Some of these actors playing freshmen. If you are hearing this as an adult, I'm begging you, please be our ally. Instead of making a joke about how lazy or narcissistic teenagers are, encourage a teenager that you know. Instead of rolling your eyes the next time you see another selfie on Instagram or a silly Instagram story, maybe give it a little bit of love. Next time you see a teenager upset over his or her love life, offer some condolences or some sage advice. And whenever you see a teenager upset over something going on in the world, encourage them to use their voice to change it. Thank you.